Hello, my name is Ian, and I play a character called Jeff Metcalf in Coronation Street. Let me tell you a little something about Jeff. He's a nasty piece of work, because he abuses his partner, Yasmin. And the kind of abuse that Jeff uses isn't physical, it's psychological. He messes with her head, and that's called coercive control, and it's a criminal offence. Shelley King, who plays Yasmin, myself, along with the writers and storyliners and producers of Coronation Street, have all done a great deal of research with the help of Women's Aid and Independent Choices Greater Manchester because we wanted this storyline to be as realistic as possible. Women's Aid have told me that they've had many women contacting them asking for help because they've watched the programme and they realised that they don't actually have to be hit to be abused. During this current pandemic and the lockdown that goes with it, many people are being forced to live in isolation with someone who is abusing them, a situation that is so terrifying it's almost impossible to imagine, unless, of course, it's happening to you. It's causing a rise in incidents of violent domestic abuse, leading to serious injury and often worse. That's why it's very important at this time, more than ever, to share this information of the help available. If you need help, or know of someone who does, the Women's Aid website, womensaid.org.uk, has links to live chat, information, support services and details of helplines. If you are living with an abusive partner, Please try to keep a mobile phone on you at all times if you can and don't be afraid to ring 999 in an emergency. If after having called 999 and you are unable to speak because you are afraid of being overheard, there is a system in place and it's called Silent Solution. Listen to the questions of the 999 operator and respond accordingly, either by coughing or tapping the handset, if you can. If prompted, press 55. That's 5-5 five five on your phone. This will let the 999 operator know that it's an emergency and that you are unable to speak because it's not safe. Please remember this information. It's very important. For everybody else... If you know of someone living with or suffering from domestic abuse, please let them know that they're not on their own and there is help available out there for them.